Yes, you read that right. I have left the link for the base repository in the description. Just go click it and download it for free. The project has been set up completely for VR with Android platform. So what I mean is if you want to develop for Oculus Quest or Quest 2, all you need to do is download this repository and you can use it out of the box. You don't have to create a new project. You don't have to import all the packages. You don't have to set up your player settings. You don't have to set up your scene and you don't have to set up your XR engine. That's right. You don't have to do any of them. Everything has been done for you. But why? When I started out to develop for VR, I faced a lot of issues and I realized that I wasted a lot of time just setting up the project itself. And that's why I thought that maybe you guys don't have to do it and uh, you don't have to give up even before you start developing. So here you have it. And in return, all I ask is for you to like and subscribe to this channel. All right, now I'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can get this project and use the different scene. So let's get started. All right, so clicking on the link will take you to this repository over here. And once you're on this page, you can click on code and download the zip file. Now, if you know how to use GitHub, then you can clone it as well. But if you don't, then this is how you do it. Once the project is downloaded, you can open it in your folder and we are going to unzip it. We're going to extract the files. There we go. So here we have the files of our project. And then what we want to do is we want to go inside Unity Hub. And here you need to make sure that you have the Unity Editor version 2021.3.12 F1 downloaded and installed. Now this is the latest version of editor that's there while I'm recording this video. And once you have the editor installed, you need to also make sure to go and add the modules, Android build support, open JDK and Android SDK, NDK tools as well. Once you have all these done, so this is like the prerequisite, then you can go to projects, click on open and let's select the folder that we just downloaded and unzip, we'll click on open. Now it's gonna take some time for the Unity project to open. So once that's done, We'll see you there. All right, so here we have our Unity project open. And the first thing that you might notice is this error over here. So if you click on the console window, it will show you some error and some warning. It's totally fine. You can go ahead and clear that. And now we'll check out the project. So inside the project folder, we have the scenes. So you get two scenes. So if I reduce the size here, you can see that the first scene is called as sample scene continuous motion. So let's double click on that. Now, as the name suggests, the XR origin has been set up for continuous motion. So what it means is that we have continuous turn provider, which is set up for the right hand controller and the continuous move provider, which is set up for the left hand controller. So with the help of left hand, you'll be able to continuously move forward, back, left and right. Whereas with the right controller, you will be able to turn 360 degrees around the Y axis uh, using this joystick over here. Now I can give you a quick demo of this. So if I press on the play button like that, and right now I'm connected to the Oculus using link. Now, if you're not sure how that's done, then you should definitely check out. Let's see this video over here. And yeah, so here we are in the play mode and then I can use my right controller to rotate. I can use my left controller to move. I can grab this, probably move back, turn once again. And let's come here and throw this. So there we go. Uh, so you kind of get an idea, right, of how the controller works. So let's exit the play mode now. And if you would like to tweak it, then you can go ahead and do that. So if you want to move continuously using your right controller, all you need to do is you can see here we have something called as right hand motion. You need to check this. Make sure to uncheck left hand and do the opposite for the turn provider. So we'll check the left hand and I'll check the right hand. Now we are doing it opposite and you cannot have both of them for the same controller and that's because we need to use the horizontal axis to move left and right. So if you have enabled both, then it will not work. So make sure that you have enabled one for either of the hands. All right, so that's with the continuous motion and now let's test out teleportation motion. So here again, while testing, I was using the XR simulator. We don't need it. You can go ahead and delete that. Now, if we check out the XR origin of the teleportation motion, you will be able to see that instead of continuous turn provider, we have snap turn provider, which is set up for both our uh, controllers, left controller and right controller. And if we see further, you can see that we have the teleportation provider as well. So this means that if I open this game object here, my left controller and right controller, both of them have the teleportation controller. By default, I have switched it off for right controller, which means that I'll be able to teleport only using my left controller joystick, but I'll be able to turn using both my hands. So let's test this out as well. I'm going to click on play. So here we are in the scene. I can use my left controller joystick to activate the teleport 
and then uh, I can teleport where I'd like to. I can use my right controller to turn or I can use my left controller to turn as well. So that's possible. Let me move closer, grab this, move over here, turn and let's throw this again. So there you go. Now that's how you use the teleportation. Now if you want to change it, we can do it again. So I'll, I'll quickly demonstrate that as well. So I'm going to disable left teleport and enable right teleportation. And probably if I want to turn only using my left hand, I will go here and uncheck right hand. So which means that I'll be able to turn only using my left hand, right? So now let's press play and test this out. So here now I can use the teleportation ray with my right controller, but I'll not be able to turn using my right controller only with left controller. So like that. So come here, grab it and then move here and probably throw this again. All right. So we'll exit the play mode. Now, if you want to have continuous motion and teleport, you can do that as well. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is uncheck this snap turn provider and click on add components at the bottom and we will add continuous turn provider action based. And let me just move this component up here. So there you go. So this is the component that I added continuous turn provider action based. And now probably I can, I would like to turn using my left hand. So I'm going to check this. It needs an input action reference. That's because we have not done it already. So you can just click on this and search for turn. We will get left hand locomotion turn, select that. And now let's press play and test it out. So here we are. Now I can use teleport using my right hand and I can use my left controller to continuously turn. So that's possible as well. All right, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, do let us know in the comments below. And if you are an aspiring developer, then you should definitely check out the free ebook that is linked in the description. It talks about the mistakes that you could make as an aspiring XR developer and you will have a huge advantage over others. So do check it out. All right, as always, I will see you in the next one.